This program that we have coming up on February 17th, 18th, and 19th in Hallsberg Hall with the Kansas City Symphony is, I think, a really interesting one. At the heart of it is our incredible good fortune to have been given through the auspices of our great friends Bob and Debbie Kipp the chance to invite every year a deserving young musician from the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia to come and make his or her debut with us here in Kansas City. First of all, Curtis happens to be one of the great schools in the United States. It also happens to be my alma mater. And because of Bob and Debbie's generosity and their um, allegiance to the school and to the idea of young musicians, we have this opportunity every year to do it. And this year, a sensational young pianist, Wei Luo, is coming to play Prokofiev's third piano concerto, which is a really marvelous piece. It's, a, it's difficult in its virtuosity, but it is vintage Prokofiev, and a great vehicle, I think, for a young musician um, because of its energy and its rhythmic drive. And to add to the great variety of this program, we have a new piece written by another Curtis graduate, a young American composer in whom I believe totally, David Hertzberg, who wrote this really beautiful work, And None Shall Gaze Upon the Father and Live. On either end of the program, more fun music. Uh, Hindemith's Ragtime. Uh, Hindemith was already a great composer in Europe when he fled during the war and came to the United States. And the idea of the jazz and ragtime uh, informing this really fun, brief piece is a delight. And then to cap it all off, Beethoven's Eighth Symphony. I think this is a wonderful program. It's a program that we're looking forward to play because it's so much fun. And I hope to see everyone here in Hellsberg Hall, February 17th, 18th, and 19th.